As you heard, we are in the middle of this warm up, pushing us closer to not two digit mm -hmm. temperatures, but three. Yep, that means that <laughs> you're going to want to make sure that your car is ready to deal with that extreme heat. Let's get over to 13 News reporter Jack Cooper live this morning on the Northwest side. A lot of really good information here, Jack, about what folks need to know before these temperatures get here. Yeah, Angie Sabria, good morning. Now I'm told before the temperatures get here, you want to make sure to bring your car in to get it checked out because if you don't, you could be paying a lot of money for some costly repairs. Now, with me, the most important thing you want to get checked out is that air conditioning. And the easiest way to do that, if you want to do it at home, is that you can just take a uh, kitchen thermometer and you can see that it's about 47 degrees is what the air is blowing out right now. It's going to get warmer, obviously, as we take it out. But around 45 to 50 degrees is what you want. Uh, that to be uh, blowing out as. Now, if it's not blowing out at that temperature, it could be your cabin air filter that needs to be cleaned or your air conditioner that needs to be recharged. Also, the summer heat is tougher on car batteries, so you want to make sure that's fully charged. Make sure your fluids are topped off. And while you may want to check out your car yourself, I'm told it's always better to get it looked at by a professional. When you drive by a car that's having car trouble all the time, those are the folks who didn't get their car checked out in most cases. Being, having your maintenance schedule uh, up to date, making sure that your fluids are topped off and that you're prepared for this summer heat is really the most important. Proactive behavior outperforms negligent behavior, and it's obvious as you drive around Tucson. Now your tire pressure needs to be uh, different PSIs for different times of the year. And to check that, you can see right here, it's on the inside of the driver's side door frame. Just open your door and it'll be right here. Again, it, you're going to have it at different PSIs for winter than you would have for summer. And you're going to want to make sure you have it right around 35. I'm told that's pretty average, but again, you're going to want to get it checked out to avoid any blowouts that you might have on the road, especially with how hot the highways get during the summer months. We have all this information and more up on our website right now. You can go ahead and check that out. Reporting on the Northwest Side, Jack Cooper, 13 News. All right, Jack, good information.